Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Welcome to episode 12, I think, of Spabum Dolls. This week was color week, so I asked the contestants to pick whatever the color they wanted and to base a photo off of that. So I'm so excited to show you guys the results, so let's get started. So first we have Molly. Your picture is adorable. I could clearly see that you did pink, and I think this picture is so cool. I love the pink wall in the background. That just adds, like, such a nice extra touch, and she's just wearing, like, all pink and the bedding, and I love how she's holding, like, the little Chelsea doll in the pink, too. Um, so yeah, I really think you did such a great job with this. I don't actually have any complaints, so great job, Molly. So next up we have Ginny and she did pink as well and I think this picture is adorable. I love all the pink in the picture. Also, I love that shirt. Where did you get that shirt? Like that shirt is really cute and I just love all the pink. My only complaints are I love how the background's blurred out but I do think the background is a little like overexposed. There's a lot of light in the background and it kind of distracts from the doll if you know what I'm saying. But other than that, I think you did a great job this week, Ginny. So next we have Sage, and she did pink also, and I think this picture is so cute. I love her dress. I love, like, the headband and the table, and also she said in her email that she actually changed the color of the flowers, so I thought that was really cool, so great job on that. They look like, you know, like they're pink. Um, also, her eyes are so pretty, and so are her lips. My only complaint is that I wish you incorporated a little bit more pink. I felt like the wall kind of takes away from the pinkness. And the table, even though that, like, the chairs and stuff are pink, it does seem a little strange. I don't know if that's just me, but it seems kind of random and doesn't exactly go along with the pink theme, probably because the table itself is white, if that makes sense. But other than that, this is a cute picture and you did a great job this week, Sage. So next we have Riley and she did red and I love this picture so much. It's so creative and so amazing. I don't think you used green screen because everything looks so real like the thing in the background. Um, it almost looks like a Halloween decoration or something like for like blood but I love the balloon. I love her uh, top. Her top's like really cute. Um, even though the like the jeans are like a blue color I think because there's so much red in this picture it actually goes very nicely. There isn't anything I'd actually complain about with this picture, and I just think it was so creative and you did such a great job. Also, her eyes are also gorgeous in this. Great job this week, Riley. Okay, so first place goes to Riley, then second place goes to Molly, and then our bottom two are Sage, and then Ginny. So to Ginny, I really do love your picture. I think... It's really cute, except I w wish the background was a little bit less bright because it kind of looks a little washed out back there, but other than that, this is a really cute picture. So now to Sage, I really do like your photo. I think you definitely incorporated pink, but I also think you could have incorporated a lot more because I feel like the white background and the white table do take away from all of the pinkness. And also, I'm not sure if the table makes the most sense because she's holding flowers. Maybe if she was, like, holding food of some sort, that would make sense if she was, like, a waitress or just, like, bringing food to the table. So I felt like it kind of seemed a little out of place. But other than that, you did have a great photo this week, Sage. However, sadly, the person who I am going to have to eliminate is Sage. I'm really sad about this because I have loved having you compete, and you're such a good friend, too, so I really hate to eliminate you. But this picture was really cute. And your photography is really amazing, and, like, if you look back at all the other weeks, you d you've done, like, seriously great throughout this whole entire competition, and you got fourth place, which is pretty good. I'm so sorry about this, but I really hope you'll consider doing it again for cycle three, and I really did love having you compete in this competition, Sage. Okay, so the next theme is going to be decades, so I'm super excited to see what you guys do. Um, I feel like when most people say decades, most people do, like, within, like, the 1900s, but you can go back as far as you want to, to, like, colonial times or, like, medieval times, just a time period of some sort. So I'm super excited to see what everyone does. The due date for that will be August 9th. So now I'm going to get into the results from your guys' like, voting from last week. So in first place for that week was Sage, second was Molly, third was Riley, and then fourth were um, Ginny and Natalie. 
Also, if you'd like to turn in a video for this week, I'd really appreciate it to make these little these videos a tad bit longer, but you definitely don't have to. That won't like mess with your ranking or anything, but just like an idea. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.